there. Thanks for joining me for Bible journaling. Today we're going to be working on day 172 and our Encourage a Moment to Breathe devotional. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple coats of clear gesso on my page to prevent bleed through to the other side because I'm going to be doing some watercoloring with some Gonzai Tombi um, watercolors and I don't want to risk it bleeding through to the other side. Also it helps to keep the page a little bit flatter. My image there today is from Sassy Cheryl Stamps. It's called Too Clean or Not to Clean. And I reduced it to 85% of its original size so that it would fit in the corner of my page there. And then for my title, I'm gonna use two fonts from the Hungry JPEG's Incredible June Bundle. The first one, the swirly font, is going to be Forest Friends, and I use size 30. And then the, the Glory and the God font is going to be um, Rotrund and it, I use size 48 for that. I'm also gonna use a black, silver black velvet number four brush to paint my image there with my Gonsai Tambi watercolors. I'll put a link to everything I used down in the description box in case you would like to pick something up and do the same page in your Bible. I don't mind if you wanna do the same image and use my example to do your own page. I'm completely fine with you copying it exactly as it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, read our devotional today. So our devotional starts out, the gifts to be discovered. And our verse is in 1 Corinthians 10 31. It says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. And my verse is actually on the opposite page, but because I already did that page, I just decided to move it over here to, to the right side and do my image there. And then I'll just include um, the verse on my page there underneath the title so that I remember that's what I was working on for this cute little image. So our story today says, how are there more dirty clothes? I just washed everything you brought down. Wait, these were clean. Why are they back in the washer when you haven't worn them? Are you putting clean clothes back in the dirty pile because you're too lazy to put them away? I ask my sons the same questions and I'm often met with the same sheepish expression from them both. I'm beyond thankful I don't have to scrub clothes in a bucket or hang them on a line to dry. But still, somehow, I find myself entangled in this never-ending battle of never being finished. Some days feel like I'm rolling the same boulder up the same unending hill, and I can make me feel so tired, so defeated. The daily things are so cynical. Cooking, cleaning, laundry, bedtimes. And then again, with the cooking, cleaning, laundry, bedtimes. Sometimes we feel which is true, as though there are always more tasks to complete, whether it's laundry at home or a pile of paperwork at the office. Our work is never done, and in that never done place, it can be easy to grow oh so weary. It's easy to lose the joy and desire to do all things to the glory of God. In a recent season of extreme busyness, I felt the Lord remind me in these spaces of never-ending chores, there can be joy hidden in the mundane. I was reminded of the simplicity of sameness when engaging the expected. While repetition sometimes felt defeating, I also found myself relieved by the comfort of familiarity. The Lord reminded me that in all of the things we do, there are hidden gifts to be discovered. And in places where we might be tempted to grumble or complain, his glory still shines and invites us into praise and thanksgiving. Our moment to breathe today says, yeah, laundry can feel like that sometimes. What if you chose to see that pile of work or laundry a little differently? Choose to see it as an invitation to the sweet comfort of familiarity. Well, I don't know about you, but I know how that goes with the laundry and things being put back in the laundry you already washed. There's nothing more discouraging than having to wash the same things over and over and over. And I found that it's just easier for me to just put the clothes in the drawer myself and then I don't have to worry about repeat washing them. But I know that's not gonna work for some of you. So, you know, maybe in those moments you can see some fami the familiarity of it. You can spend some quiet time reflecting while you fold your laundry or do dishes, and you can s listen to a, a praise worship song. That's what I try to do. Try to think of something else when it gets to be too tedious and I'm just tired of doing it, even though I know it has to be done anyways. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you um, watch the rest of the coloring and the page putting together. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. 
If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. You can also leave me a comment or say hi down in the comments. That would be awesome. If you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and do that. And then when you subscribe, hit the little bell next to the subscription button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video or I'm doing a live class, you can stop by and say hello and we can chat. So I hope you are having a fabulous day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.